Oh, oh. Get in, get in. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm not only 25 and this is Hospital Day 1 Start With Nothing. So we are now on Day 2. I think we can push through and finish this today if this 9% infection doesn't get the better of us. We're at this section here. It's about to become 4am. I think I know where we are. I think we've got some vultures coming up potentially, which is bad news. Uh, let's get ready with our knife because that's the quickest drawing weapon we have currently. Something around here. Yep, it's over there. I can see it. I can see the darn thing. So the premise of what we're doing is that we start day one with no skill points, no starter quest. We start with pretty much nothing and we try and clear a tier 5 POI and see how long it takes us. We're not speedrunning, but we're just kind of seeing what it's like. So if you do want to catch up on the first episode, I will link it as the top pinned comment. But let's crack on with this. So, 4am here, so no more sprinting zombies unless they're going to be feral. There's another ugly, ugly vulture. Let's get rid of it. I can't stand these things. Pop Graham in his stupid head as well. Let's get down here in case there's more vultures on my trigger. Come on, down you come, chump. It's literally walking in a straight line. It's not hard. Don't think we've got anyone else up here. That's good. Bit of free extra wood there. We're doing really well on like wood and stone because this POI is very generous with its plant fibre, tree, stone. So it's a lot easier to start out in this one than it is to shong. Let's drop down here. Ooh, I can see someone straight away. Pop one in his little head there. I've still got to think about how I'm going to tackle the roof because that's going to be pretty crazy, I think. Should be a couple of ferals up there. And my little... Oh, well that might help. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's check the coffee up here. We don't need murky water, to be honest. Load that. And that's going to be strictly for, you know, the roof or emergencies. Try not to use that if I can help it. Hello, nursey. And hipster dude. Nice. I love the bow play in this game. I know a lot of people hate the bows, but I actually find them really fun to use. I can't wait to do another agility series one day. Uh, scrap that, we don't need wrenches. Not for what we're doing. They're locked. Seems to want me to come through here. And we're going up, right. Things are getting real. Uh oh, somebody's woken up. Wow. Loud noises. Where the- Oh, this girl, I swear. I don't know where it is. Well, she just ate it on a landmine. That three mega crush is pretty huge. Read that for the XP. Come on, food. Uh, I mean, one piece of corn. Two food, we're gonna have to do it. Oh, there's a BDE top, we'll wear it. Flashlight serves no purpose. We may as well just make more arrows, to be honest. Although we've got 59, you never know, we might look out on a crossbow or something. It looks like we drop straight back down here. No, it can't be that. Okay, we must come this way, I see. Over you come, lad. There's an alarming lack of medicine in this hospital. I suppose it is post-apocalyptic and people would have raided it. I guess it makes sense. I begrudgingly accept. Around here then. Whoa! We're gonna have to let them come to us, I think, here. Okay, that was a lucky head pop. Right, we're in. Ow! Oh, why didn't that... Oh, we hit her in the arm. Oh, for a second, we may have had a feral on our hands. And down she goes. Uh, vitamin? Okay, if we find any more sham sandwiches, that's actually pretty useful. Oh, look at that medicine cabinet. Raided again. We don't even need wood, to be honest. We can stop picking up chairs at this stage. Come on, head pop. You look foolish now, don't you? There we go. Spotted you. All right, let's spend that skill point on sexual Tyrannosaurus, because that's the thing that's going to help us most. Okay, we got one over on her. That's good. Wasn't expecting him there. 
nice. Don't think there's much out there to worry about. Let's keep going. Oh, a couple of mineral waters. We'll take them. Some good ammo piles, a shotgun messiah crate. I know there's going to be a zombie here somewhere. I think, anyway, wouldn't you? Hello? No? Okay. Um, scrap armor. Uh, we'll just scrap it. We want to be able to move freely. Uh, there's some crossbow bolts. I don't think we're going to get a crossbow this run. We got really lucky with that last time. And more ammunition. Okay, well, the pistol can have a bit more then. Ah, uh, this is the room with tons of them. I know where we are now. This section is rough. Kind of want to get them away and out one at a time where possible. He's down. They're working on this door over here for us for some reason. Just got to be careful about triggering the rest of them here. Get a bit more out of him. Okay, pretty sound strat it's working so far. Soldier guy right there. This could be tough. Good. Big beauty. I was expecting maybe a feral or a thumb man or somebody in here. My goodness, she's a tank, even on Nomad. We got them. Nice. That's the best that room's ever gone for me. Well, there's a first aid bandage that could come in very handy. Don't need acid. We don't need wrenches. Ah, oh, some boots. <laughs> We're not even wearing boots. That's how rough things are. You can have my jars, how about that? Okay, we don't need it. I guess we'll wear the jacket. Why in the hell not? Well, that's an interesting little pit stop, do you not think? Okay, it wants us to go through here. Make sure our bow's repaired. We're using it a lot. We can make more arrows if needed, though, so that's no problem. Okay, seems remarkably calm around here. Okay, somebody's woken up. Of course, it's you. Take that. Oh, steroids. Yeah, we'll take them. We'll take them. Oh, there's a honey. We'll have it. That'll at least stop the infection getting out of hand and really hampering our stamina and stuff, you know? All right, let's crouch out here. Okay, and I have a feeling vultures are nearby. Just a funny feeling I've got. Yep, right there. I'm going to arrow him. I'm going to make sure there's no more sneaky vultures about. No, okay, I think we got away with that one. It's okay, so another section with a ton of crawlers. I think there's a dog coming up around the corner, isn't there? Yes, there is. I'm going to need all my timing down here. All my stamina. We're going to want to pop it in the head. Switch over to the sledge. Where's it gone? Hello? There it is. Guys, not a good time. Because I have to get this dog as part of the challenge. This might take a while. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's fine. Ladder there that we'll have to go up in a second. Ooh, med supplies. Never first aid bandage. Go on then. Let's in fact swap them out now. And we've got two of them. Ooh! a lot of them at once. Would you like a bleed? Get your bleeds. Get your bleeds here. Excellent. We don't need no knuckle wraps. Uh, more steroids and stuff. We'll take them. Oh, another toilet pistol. So if this one breaks, uh, let's bring that up. Chuck the jar away. We don't need that. Just make sure. That's loaded. Well, that's going to really help on the roof, because we can just go pow, pow, pow with that one, and pow, pow, pow with this one. And switch over rather than reload. Anybody here? Hello? Oh, salmon. Yeah, food. I forgot about food. Grain alcohol. Useless. Okay, this will be the way to go, then. Uh-oh. Get in, get in. That vulture auto-triggered. That was nasty. 
We're probably going to get a debuff here, but we're going to have to kind of come out. I don't know where it is. That's the problem. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. Horrible thing. Come on. It just uh, bled out. That's good. What have we got? A sprained leg. What is it with me getting sprained legs and these things? It's <laughs> not the end of the world. Could be a lot worse. What's the duration on these steroids? 10 minutes. Let's take it now. It'll make us move a bit faster. It takes 30 water from you, but this gives you 34. So we'll just drink a couple of them since we've got so many. But there's one vulture. You know there's going to be more. Case in points. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. We stuck it with an arrow. So we've got some skill points available. We're really near to the end here, so I'm thinking we're going to go... Which one is it? Extra 50% damage from Sneak. Let's see if this makes a difference to this guy. All oh, right, yeah, it does. So that might help with the roof, is what I'm thinking. Here we are, then. Uh, oh, there's a better bow. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and some iron arrows. So that point seems like it was well spent now. Good. All right, all right. Who we got in the clubhouse tonight? The biker could be a problem. The man could be a problem. I'm going to try and take out the ones I think we can get. There's no real way to know if any of them are feral. Uh-oh. That was a missed shot. Okay, that's a waste of some arrows there. Let's see what this does to Edgar. It doesn't get Edgar. Uh-oh. Uh, kind of in trouble here. He's gone down. We've got three iron arrows left. Him in the shoulder. Uh, now we need to switch. Stone. So now we're left with what I estimate to be an Edgar, a biker, a thumb man, and three soldiers. I don't know who I really want to take on out of these the most. That was a misfire. Oh, he just stood on the biker's head. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, good, 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 good. We've got some pistol rounds. How bad can it be? We want to get some out of him, I think, more than anyone. Hey, mate. Wake up, everyone. Run through. And of course, that's C H U M B, the man. Yes. All right, we're down to this room. Now, the only problem is I've got nothing to open this uh, reinforced chest with. I'm going to have to use this wrench because I think that's going to be the quickest thing. So this is going to take a while. So I will catch up with you once I'm in, and that'll be the challenge completed. Oh, there we go, we're in. I was reading stuff on my phone, waiting. So yeah, we popped our Mega Crushes and Coffees and just tap, tap, tapped away. We wore out the durability in our wrench, but 16.55, we'll call it, uh, for when we completed this. If this was a real playthrough, what would our rewards have been? A bit of armor, a couple of mods, not a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, we might as well just see what else is in these boxes here. The splints, blood bags, plastics, uh, oh, some pipe bombs, they would have been useful earlier. A bit of ammo and stuff. Uh, some gunpowder. Jar. More gunpowder in the lab equipment. Never makes sense to me. We would have got a bicycle chassis. That's pretty cool. That would have been a good reward for all of this. Some recog. And we already got that. All right, brilliant. So that was fun. This is a great POI, this one. This is one of my favorites, although the stark difference in sheer volume of zombies. Ooh, look at that mountain over there. It's very pretty. You know, difference in between this and the Dishong is night and day. They're both tier fives, but the Dishong's more like a tier six, isn't it? 
This is probably, along with the Cracker Book Tower, the easier of the tier fives. Now, we could do Higashi or Cracker Book next. Uh, if you want to see more of this type of thing, just let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in our stats, we ended up level six, game stage eight, with 143 enemy kills. We also ended up with a bad infection and very hungry, but we did it and we had fun doing so. If you want to see more content like this, why not subscribe today? And if you enjoyed yourself today, let me know by leaving a like down below. Have a good one and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.